Let's go. All right, we're good. We're good. Decrease, decrease. I don't, bro. Clubline mode. Camera does it. the camera uh, you know we continue okay okay um hold your a high frame rate low favorite maximum performance only available on supported output devices frame rate mode a rendering format Resolution graphical quality high right, frame rate mode. So I could get this, I'd be sick. Oh, fuck yeah! Of course, of course, I accept. Link accounts. Oh, fuck me, bro. Oh, fuck me, bro. Hey, yo, wait! Can some. Wait, no. If someone gets like. No. Can they? I don't know if they can. I don't think so. Because I think you still have to log in, right? Yeah. Fuck you. We're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Oh yeah, fuck out of here. Look at that. I'm a fucking Gryffindor. I have Phoenix Feather, Black Walnut 10, and... Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. Look at this shit. Dope. Dope. And go. Dope. This shit's ugly shit. Nice. Look at that. That's what happens when you link accounts. <laughs> Barely visible. Uh. Can you even. I could have. Like. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I don't care. Let's go! Who are we choosing? <laughs> Wait, this is a girl. The fuck? I'm see, this guy's not bad. You know what we're fucking, we go off this spot. This broke. The Face shape. This is insane. I think the first one's fine, right? Eh? The first one's fine. What are we doing? 
This is so much like Nate Hill. This is Nate Hill. Nah, bro, we need a... Actually, this is not bad, I'll be honest. What do you think, Nutella? Dude. Oh yeah, look at his elegance. You know what? That is not bad. Just me for real, bro. It's a big girl, eh? This is like way too elegant, bro. Like, you like. Yeah, but I'm gonna walk around Hogwarts like this. Honestly, it might have to be this, right? Like, what are we saying? Nice. We in this complexion. Wait, where do I change my 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 skin color? There we go. A little bit more on the darker side. What are we thinking, bro? This is actually pretty good, right? Good skin color. I say so. We're good on that. Um, I think we're good on that also. Yeah, we're not Justin, so no. Um, brown. Where's brown? This is, this is like brown, right? That's, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. I guess this, right? We definitely have some eyebrows. Definitely do. Did I just leave it like that? I think I am. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna leave it like that. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A hey, fucking yo? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. What the fuck? Sound like a little bitch. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. <laughs> That was quite what are we saying, bro? I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. We are stupid. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Too hard? Too hard. Do coma. Res. Zilla. Fucking, let's fucking do this, bro. Do I want to be a witch or wizard? I think I'm going to be a wizard. Stop my journey, eh? Why do we got to do this hard, right? There's no shot doing it normal. Yo, Loki, I don't like my hair. I'm going to be honest. That has to be a better hairstyle, bro. Yo! This is actually sick. Yo, Nathan Ake! Fucking Nathan Ake! No, bro, I look fucking Dominican! Dude, it's gonna have to be this. 
You know, I'm gonna wear a hood in the game. I'm a wizard. Come on, Rosilla. Oh yeah, look at me. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Yay! It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> It's been I should have took my glasses off. When I look how fucking hour, nerdy I, I look. I best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. I definitely should have taken glasses off. Why don't we off, speak though. en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge Lord doesn't Robert. mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Fuck? It's not even a horse. Whoa, it's the the, the shadow man. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir yeah, i look I'm fucking nerdy i actually hate my how i look how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? <sighs> Yo, Justin, what's have... he doing? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. Is for fire, bro. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? 
We do. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Oh yeah, look, I spam Rebellio. How does the professor get fucked up by a dragon? Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Yeah, I need to get fucking like, like, shiesty up or something. I look too nerdy. It's the fucking classes. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? Yo, go my Rizillo. Sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Wait, wait, wait. Right, we turn we turn this off. Does a death of your game impacts GPU informants? Film frame off. We turn this off. Nice. All right, Richard. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Gold. Oh yeah. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every card. Thank you, sir. Where is the Who would have fucking known? this chest boy oh yeah we're close now it's just ahead steady yourself Why this guy waiting for me? Like, where the fuck up? This here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor kid for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Fuck you. Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. I don't even know what he's trying to say. What the fuck was that? Explorer ruins. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Rizzler. Rizzler boss. Bro, just give me gold. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocked? What's this? Professor Fig! Fat ass gonna come here. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Yeah, let me interact. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Godric? Oh, Elden Ring? I don't believe it. Uh, 
Gabe. Why are you Hello? Center? Justin's baby, what the fuck? Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> uh, <where> are we? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Oh, yeah. I wrote on one of these motherfuckers After before. You. No, I haven't. Actually, actually, I kind of did. Kind of did, yeah. I kind of did. If you don't write something on this, a universal. She was wicked. Okay, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I actually did write something on like this. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The fortress now with the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantment. It's a security measure. Experience the thief's downfall before, have you? Permanent. These are the lower ones that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. He resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Hooray. Yo, it's Mike from um, Breaking Bad. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, yo! Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What's 
go. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Professor Black. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A oh, yeah. Time to spare. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Easy. Easy fucking money. Fucking Illuminati. Holy shit. Revelio. Oh, yeah. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Easy fucking cash. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Alright, get the fuck out the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we're ready to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is nice. it? Nice. That glow again, but on the floor. Rebellion. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Ah, oh, fuck me. You seem to have caused the floor to change. More fight. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Let's go. Yo! Easy fucking money. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Hey, yo. Oh. Yo! I better go. Yo, that's mad fucked up.
Bitch. Let's go, potato. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Oh, yeah. Where am I supposed to go? Supposed to go here, boy. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. Easy Lewis. fucking cash. Rebellion. Oh my god. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Rebellion. Alright, we're chilling. Oh shit. Lumos. Oh. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Easy fucking cash. I probably didn't even have, I didn't even have to drink that. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Nothing. Nothing. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Where was it? Oh, I can't miss the chest. Rebellion. Easy cash. Uh, there you are. How 
did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Yo, is that um that's Gandalf? All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can I see magic traces of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that Miriam had always believed existed but could never Miriam and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... Oh, looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Right. Oh, Juan! Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Bro, that's fucked up, bro. I have no patience for traitors. You were just following orders, bro. No. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
dead. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yay! W intro. sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Fuck, I look like starting classes. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. 
exceptionally daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Oh, yeah. Better be Gryffindor. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy I'm Coma Rosilla. It is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Gee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do something. Rebellion. Talk a shit for. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nelly will do anything for attention. Nelly, please get down. A professor could arrive any moment. Nelly will do anything for a thrill. <laughs> I hope a professor catches her this time. I don't mind. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh! oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. 
splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Hell yeah. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Yeah, I'm sure you got it, bro. Don't worry. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. I wish you luck, bro. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. You're weird as hell. Let me jump with you. Oh, let me let me see that angle. Hey, yo. Here, uh, have a sip. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Yeah, I really don't care. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor, <laughs> Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Who the fuck said that to me? Was it you? I'm out. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Now? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What 
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Fellows. This way. Shut up. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm right here, bro. Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. It's the most stupid shit I ever read. Here, yo. Give me my gear. Barret. I'm not feeling a barret, bro. Wait, can I? I don't care about it, I don't know. Let's go to land. Open for more opportunities like that in rebellion and outside of the castle. No, I'm gonna ask that. No, I no can't. Time to waste. You've classes to attend. Opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your blue flame guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Here you can see the flu flames available in the region and green flu flames represent flames you discovered. The right side of the map is where you go. Find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower library and greenhouse. So, what do you think of the flash over? Ah, bye bye bye. This flash over? Um, boom, fast travel. Easy fucking money. And here we are, quite the time saver. <sighs> These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I just want to fight, bro. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always.
is something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank, Thank you, Professor. Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, yes. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Well, now I have to talk to this fat fuck. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Do I care? Or is this my boy I can rely on? You know, I'm just gonna keep it a book. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. There is so much shit that's like, like tutorial based. Oh, some quests are locked. Do I want Levioso or Akio?
Let's go over here. Fucking Akio. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, it sounds like God, how I get both, no. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade, it's really better. Including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Well then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm just trying to get to class, yo. W, W, taste the music. It was an accident. <gasps> oh, shit. I haven't been... Oh, man. Oh, fucking well. Sit here. Thank you. Hello, I am Natty. So you are the new student. Oh sure, she's Natty, bro. Not Professor Ronan yet. <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. Yo, that's my fault. My, though. the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I bet. Easy fucking money. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Let's go. Ah. 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? That's fucked up, bro. Why does our amateur have to start off? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio, now, think of this like gobs. Excellent control there. Oh, I got it. Easy cash. Easy fucking cash. See, I got it, I got it, I got it. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Alright, uh, if I don't win this? I, would you care to I don't give know. our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I was going used to be a whore. Fucking natty. <laughs> The fuck? Oh shit. <laughs> alright, alright. That is how it's done. That is how it's done. You a bitch. Give me the shit. Easy fucking cash. Splendid! Here we go! There's no way she's gonna play that game, right? Oh my god. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Oh shit, oh shit. Nah, we're fucking wicked at this. Quite impressive. What? Oh my god. Can I beat her up? I don't want to tie. I want to win. Ah, oh, man. Alright, alright. Well, I'm a fucking bozo, aren't I? Well, at least I tied it, bro. I tied, I tied. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Dude, she is fucking cheating. Legitimately a cheater. Dude, she's such a cheater. Easy fucking cash. Easy fucking cash. Every time of the fucking week. Yo, she's such a fucking cheater. She's literally cheating, bro. Ah. Uh, Easy fucking cash again, bro. Nicely done. You're nicely done, that's up. I don't need your compliment. Here we go. Yo, here goes this cheater. Yo, this girl's cheating. I don't want to roll a draw again, so. Yes. Fuck up, please. Ah. Oh! I'm fucking. I'm too. I'm too nice for them. A perfect score. Remarkable. 
Too nice with it, bro. Easy fucking cash. Go my Rosillo. Takes it up. Very good, both of you. Well done. Mamoos! Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to do anything right when I transferred here. Embarrassing. It gets easier, I promise. I literally just be you. Do I just be like, like I don't want to be a dickhead, but bro, like I literally just beat you. Nah, I'm holding my own. Fuck you. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I she understands. From Wagadu just before my fourth year, my mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Yeah, I don't really care, so... Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Yeah, bye, loser. You can use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on the fuck you looking at. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. I fucking hate girls like this. A word, if you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's you up? Wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Like, bro, Expect I don't like being ordered soon. around. I Let me do my shit. Like... Assignment that I am preparing for you. Holy fuck. I got a trophy. Yay. I feel like shit, bro. Like, <laughs> hello. Like, hello. hello. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone. Yo, been why does she about. look? Yo, I hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own. In Yo, I hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own. In Facts was even challenging. Like, so thank you, it. but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again. He tends to be a bit Yo, why does she look like? His. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. That's tough. Maybe I should give you lessons, bro. That's all I'm saying. Rebellion. <sighs> Anyways. Nothing here, right? Oh, I don't think so. Fuck you. Oh, that's where the chest is? Fuck you. And then the werewolves joined the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the goblin rebellion of 1752. The minister for magic was Albert Booth. What am I supposed to do? What the fuck is this? I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. What it was is flag. Oh, I, I, it's a bowl of flag. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flag? I don't... Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a flag. She says Spider. it's a boot and he says it's a flag. Peeves, oh. enough. You'll get us all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. It was her best of school. It wasn't boots and it wasn't black, but you're all in what trouble, Professor Black. 
I don't I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Hey, hey, hey. First question mark is the king. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I need a spider. Right? And then no, 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 that's the first question mark. Three. He's an owl. Right, the owl, then the unicorn. Uh, I need that. That shit, right? Oh yeah, Alakazam. That is bullshit. What are we saying? Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I need the unicorn. What's the shit? Yo, am I fucking dumb? Maybe the spider? Open? No shot. Like, what the fuck? No, there just has to be something to this, bro. Zero, three, and then a question mark. supposed to pop up. Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, there we go, there we go, right? Then that's... There we go. No fucking shot. I honestly thought that was it. Wait, wait, how is this not it? If I'm multiplying, right? I'm, I'm assuming it's multiplying three times zero is zero. I mean, yeah, three times zero is zero, and then this one should be five. No, fuck, hold up. Are we adding? That doesn't make sense. Rebellion. Like, I'm assuming. This is by order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or, like, am I fucking stupid? Or is it zero? And then one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero, one, two. So it'll be that. Then zero, one. That's five. And then five plus something has to equal twelve. So twelve minus five will be uh, um, nine. 
nine, 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 nine. No, what the fuck? Yeah, right? No, I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah seven. What's up? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seven, seven, seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I gotta get this shit. There you go. I look a fucking Zam, bro. I'm a fucking genius. And I got that for a fucking floor. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Ugh, it's not bad. I was able to do it, and I'm proud. Uh, where, how do I? How do I? Um, Akio, Akio, Akio. Uh, how about Akio, right? Right. I have to do Akio on that. What the fuck? Easy fucking money. And then... Um, yeah, you see, I, I'm such a quick learner. This is where you get Leviosa. That's cool. I think I'm just gonna end it here, though. About to uh, play some footy. About to go ahead and play some footy. And then, tomorrow, I guess. Right? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Bet, 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 bet. Damn, I wish I played more. I really didn't get into it. But... There we fucking go. Safe complete. And... That's about it, yeah? Alright. Hasta mañana.